Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the pink dial, 36 millimeter Tag Heuer Carrera. First time I'm getting to see one of these, and I have to tell you, this is not available. Uh, we don't still have not had one in inventory um, that I could ship out or sell to you. However, uh, many of you uh, may be visitors of the store, or friends of the store, know that Mel. Our uh, director of operations is a huge watch enthusiast herself, has a great collection, has been to some of our meetups. This is her personal watch. She uh, stopped back into my office and I noticed she was wearing it and I said, I got to film it. So here it is. First look at it. I wanted to get on the channel for you if you have not seen other views of it. Again, the case dimensions on this, 35.8, a little bit above the crown, diagonally across the case. 35.5 across the polished bezel here that sits on top of that case ever so slightly. 30.9 across the sapphire crystal, three to nine. We have a 10.2 millimeter case thickness, 41.5 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. We have a 19 millimeter lug width that tapers to 17 here at the clasp. Again, we have a deploying clasp. This has been sized for her wrist. And admittedly, she wears her watches a little bit large, so it's probably going to fit in mine just a bit snug. Um, but again, dual push button, deploying clasp. We have an exhibition case back with the caliber 7 movement, 56 hours of power reserve. I can't get it to focus. Hopefully that is a little better for you. 50 meters of water resistance. We have a signed but non-screw down crown. On the full stainless steel bracelet, case and bracelet, again, links have been removed on this one. It weighs 114.3 grams. I did not weigh hers. I don't know how many links have been taken out. Retail on this model is $3,200. And uh, I know people have been asking, you know, how are the uh, um, links removable here? We got pin and collar system on this, but it looks like we do have a half link on both ends that she did not remove. So you do have a half link on both ends. You have uh, alternating uh, center, polished center links here, which I actually, again, I've said this before, I'm not a huge fan of PCLs or polished center links on watches, but this alternating look to me actually works. I actually, I really kind of like it. Um, so again, this pink dial is the, let's see, I've done the silver, I've done the green. I don't know that I've seen, or I'm sorry, I've done the blue. I don't know that I've seen the green yet. I have to go back and look, but this is either the third or fourth one I've seen. I got to tell you, this one is really eye-catching. Um, across the room, again, I saw her sleeve come up and uh, noticed it right away. I don't know that it's for me, but for something different in a collection, that pink sunburst, it, it does pop. I, I do like it, and I am not afraid to wear pink, uh, so... There you have it. Um, you do have a white kind of uh, around that uh, the inner chapter ring here, just a little bit of different color uh, through the 20, uh, the, the 20 marker there, or the uh, four o'clock hour. So a little bit of contrast on that dial. But enough of me rambling on. Let me throw it on wrist real quick. Again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. I'm not even sure if this is gonna fit. I uh, have not tried to put it on, but again, I've worn Mel's watches and usually, what do I tell you? It's just a little tight. She wears hers a little loose, but it does fit me. So there you have it. Really, I think this is the watch I've been wanting to see in person, and it does not disappoint. I, again, would I wear it every day? No, but would I wear it on occasion? Sure, why not? I uh, may have to let her, let me borrow this every once in a while just for a pop of color. But again, nicely done tag Hoyer. Let me hit the lights for you quick. As always, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com, and let me know, would you wear a pink dial watch? Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.